Hey there, today we're learning how to write a paragraph. So, as you can see, creating a paragraph is a lot like making a sandwich. A sandwich has three parts. It has the top slice of bread, the meat, the cheese, the lettuce in the middle, and then another piece of bread at the bottom. In a paragraph, the top slice of bread is called the introduction. In a paragraph, the middle is called the body. And then the last piece of bread is called the conclusion. So as you can see here, in the introduction, you should write a topic sentence. What is the main idea of your paragraph? All right. So for example, my topic is squirrels. And I will write about what they eat. Next, in the body, you need to list the important details. What information and details do you want to include in your paragraph to support and, and explore your idea? So if you're writing about squirrels and what they eat, you would say something like this. The first thing they eat is acorns. They take them from oak trees and store them in their mouth <clears throat> until they get back to their home. Another thing they eat is, and so on. Say a third thing they like to eat is, and so on. Okay. So in this case, you're going to write about all the things that squirrels eat. And then maybe some additional information that you researched. In the conclusion, you're going to summarize everything. So you're going to basically write almost the same thing as you wrote in the introduction, except for in slightly different words. As you can see, squirrels like to eat nuts and, okay, whatever else you researched. They are quite clever and can use their little paws <clears throat> with skill in order to get their food. It's a matter of survival. The next time you see a squirrel, think about all the things you learned today. Or you could say by reading this paragraph. Okay, so here's our introduction, body, and conclusion. If you look down here, you see the same success criteria. Okay, the top slice of bread has the introductory sentence that tells what the paragraph is about, or the topic. The lettuce, meat, and cheese support your main idea, or the body. Okay. Um, the bottom bread slice tells what you wrote about. This is like a summary. Some additional success criteria for a paragraph. You must start your paragraph with an indent and a capital letter. 
Okay? So, for example, here. This is an indent. The space. And this B is a capital letter. So your paragraph should also start like that. A quick way to make an indent is to use your keyboard by pressing this tab button right here. Okay, that will allow you to make this space. Okay, another success criteria for a paragraph is that it should be six to eight or more sentences. So at least six to eight sentences in a paragraph, please. As you can see, if you were to count all of these, you would have that many. Okay, so can you identify the introduction, the body, and the conclusion in this paragraph? Try it. Copy the success criteria here with a pencil or your computer into this space here. Then read this paragraph. And if you see the success criteria in the paragraph, then check this box. This means that whoever wrote this paragraph has met the success criteria, the first one. If you do not see it, if you do not see supporting details, or if you do not see uh, six to eight sentences in this paragraph, then you would write, this person has not met the success criteria by checking this box. Okay? So, copy the success criteria for writing a paragraph. Then check if the success criteria is met or not by checking these boxes. Then label each in the margins beside the paragraph. So wherever you see, like I did here, this, the six to eight sentences, then you would write that somewhere over here. Okay? If you see supporting details, then you're going to make a little note of it in the side, similar to what I did here. Okay? So, good luck!